We got the jobs report on Friday, and it said that they added 260,000 new jobs, so employment is in holding up. But that was for October. Have you read any of the headlines on the Wall Street Journal about how everybody's laying off, that the oil companies are cutting back on their campus in, in uh, Houston, that Amazon's laying off people, that Lyft's laying off people, that, that the semiconductor business is slowing down? How does this all measure out? Well, do you remember? Remember the subprime crisis? Do you remember how that played out when Lehman Brothers went bankrupt? How long did it then take the market to hit its low? Is that where we're at? Is that what's going to happen? Is 2023 going to be a bigger crash than 2022? I think we need to look at this in more depth. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. The s and is down about 25%, give or take a few percentage points. Is that the bottom of it? I don't really think so. Uh, wait a second. We had the um, jobs report, and what did they add? 261,000 jobs in October. But wait, didn't you see the headlines? Let's look at those headlines again, which are saying that Amazon's laying off people, Lyft's laying off people, that the semiconductor business is slowing down, that Exxon is reevaluating their employment and their real estate footprint. And then we know that Facebook is doing the same thing. Well, how can that be when there was a jobs report that says we added 261,000 jobs and these big companies are saying they're getting ready to lay off people or they already are. I have a friend who's worked for Google for 26 years, I believe, and they're asking him if he'd like early retirement. He want, and, and then they'll give him a severance package. Everybody's cutting back. We know that. So then what can we learn from the past to give us a clue to the future? Well, I'll take you back to Lehman Brothers. That was the that was the red flag from the subprime crisis. They they went bankrupt or fold, closed their doors on September the 15th, 2008. On that same day, the S&P 500 was at 1227. Well, this is then when all the other banks started laying off people. This is when the uh, other uh, companies w- uh, were, were fighting for, for their survival. Well, by March the 6th, 2008, Nine, the S&P 500 was at 684. It lost 44% from September of 08 to March of 09. That's what I think you are going to get ready to see uh, for 2023. Now, why do I think that? Well, let's look at who's getting laid off. Do they have severance packages? Do they probably have vacation days and and um, sick days that they can count on? That isn't what happens at the low-grade jobs. At the high-grade jobs, they are now going to probably hit the the unemployment offices, not until January. The other thing you need to remember, these are not poor people. These are wealthy people. And these are people who basically benefited from the free money that we have had for the last decade. That is, we had zero interest rates or close to zero interest rates, and they made a lot of money off of Tesla stock and and Amazon stock and Apple stock and, and ARK Invest. And Tesla, I think I mentioned Tesla, and Bitcoin. Now they don't have work. Now they don't have credit. And they've lost a big part of their asset base. They're the people who have bought the big house down the street for $3.5 million, who's now got a, a, a for sale sign. They're the people who have exploded the beach communities and taken the prices for a cottage from $1.2 million to $2.4 million over the last four years. These are the people who are now riding around in private jets. That's all coming to an end, and it's going to happen in 2023 as they get laid off. As as they get laid off and as interest rates go up, because interest rates, the the mortgage rate's going to be over 9% by March of 2023. That's going to shut down the real estate business entirely. That's going to hit, that's going to hit small business who has a floating loan 
that is based on the Fed rate. That's going to create foreclosures. We are going to revisit sub the subprime crisis, and, and it's multiplied. You've got to recognize that we put $9 trillion into this market from March of 2020. 2020 through December of 2020. And then after December of 2020, we put another three trillion into the stock, into the market. There is so much money that now has to be accounted for. And all these people are going to be unemployed. And we're going to have a crash in 2023. So what do you do as an investor? Do you just go to cash and put it in your mattress and and hope and pray that this goes away? Because it will go away. No, you look at the situation and you say, okay, if this is what's going to happen, if these people are going to become unemployed and, and, and businesses are going to close, who's going to benefit? Who's going to benefit? Who's going to be? Who's going to be the winner? Does is there ever winners? Were there winners as a result of the coronavirus? Yeah, Zoom. How about Peloton? The, you you can name them. There were winners. There will be winners on that on this. And what our job is as investors is to figure out who they are. Who's going to be the winner? We also got to recognize it's going to be bad in the United States, but it's going to be so much worse in Europe. And then if that isn't bad enough, it's going to be even worse in China. So who's going to benefit from all this? Where's the winner and where's the loser? There is always a winner. So what do we do? We work together. I'm going to have a stock talk this afternoon at three o'clock, and I'm going to present this to the members of my discord and say, this is what's going to happen. I'm sure because I've seen it before. Who's going to be the winners? That's what we call our tribe, the group of people who are putting their minds together. There's totally, I think, in the Discord, there's, I think it's up to 18,000 people. If you put that many minds together and they raise their hand and say, well, what brought us out of it the last time was, so what's going to bring it out of it this time? I think I know what it is. And I'll share that with them this afternoon at three o'clock, and we'll talk about it. I, I'll guarantee you, we'll talk about it more on this channel, Best of Us Investors. If you want to be a part of this kind of think, thinking, you know what to do. You hit the subscribe button, then you hit that bell. What that bell does is notifies you that somebody has put out a video. That will be me or my son, Trent. We are going to help you through the very tough times that are in front of you. Don't get, don't get beat up. There will be money to be made for those to know who know where to make it. My commitment is to help you find the place to invest your money in 2023. Talk to you again more about this tomorrow. (music) 